Rachel, have a great weekend. You're welcome. You too. And finally tonight, science and technology continue to be fast-changing fields. And this week, SUNY New Paltz played host to a day-long event designed to show high school students some career paths they could decide to follow. Sid Mehta has the story of Engineering Day. The new Faces of Engineering program tried to play up the idea that science is cool. I think it's important to focus on science and technology as being fun. It isn't just that geek myth of the highly introverted person with no social skills. Engineers are real people who have fun, who solve today's problems and tomorrow's problems. Everybody can relate to fun things, and that's what engineers do. They invent fun items. Without engineers, we wouldn't have the fun items we have today. One student who is happy to be here comes from a family that's trying to save the world through science. Well, it's good to get to know everything. My brother is an engineer at U of M, so I think it's really interesting. Anyone else in your family involved in the sciences and engineering? Uh, my dad is uh, went to school for biology, and he designs like stents and stuff to uh, it's like artificial veins and stuff. More than a thousand students from more than 30 schools in the Hudson Valley region are here for the New Faces of Engineering Day. One of the prime attractions is a company that produces freeze-dried ice cream. Yes, it is. Well, I wish they were eagerly interested in freeze dryers, but they're more interested in one of the uh, products that you can freeze dry, and that's ice cream in this case. It's, it's pretty cool what they do. Like he said, uh, they freeze dry blueberries, send them over to the troops. It's like vaccines too. I think America counts on innovation. Our economy, our standard of living is counting on an innovative culture to come up with new ideas every day. At SUNY New Paltz, Sid Mehta, Cable 6 News. And that is our report. Take it real slow out there tonight. Yeah, be safe. We'll see you on Monday.